Hi, I'm Joel Zurbach, CEO and co-founder of Otoy Inc. Today at F8, we couldn't be more excited to announce the results of an awesome partnership with Facebook around Six Degrees of Freedom in video. Six Stop Video is designed to raise the stakes of immersion in video feeds. Now you have 360 video, which many are familiar with, where you can look around and see things all around you. And you have stereo 360, which gives you a little bit of stereo and 3D effects in each eye. But neither of those formats allows you to actually walk or move through a scene. And six dot video does. So the results of this partnership enable us to bring Facebook's six dot video cameras, just announced today, the X6 and the X24, and connect that to a pipeline that Otoy's created, both in terms of cloud services and software, that enables millions of content creators and artists to start leveraging six degrees of freedom in their video and published experiences on the web and in VR. The technology that allows Facebook's X24 and X6 cameras to work well is based on depth estimation. Now this is something that doesn't require expensive LiDAR or depth sensors to work. Once you're done with your shoot, the data goes up into the cloud. The cloud can process this data and turn it into a point cloud or a voxelized volume of video. And at the end of that process, Otoy's technology converts that into an Orbex scene file. An Orbex scene file can then be downloaded and brought into Adobe After Effects, the Foundry's Nuke, and most recently Unity, or any of the other 25 tools with Octane plugins that are able to import and export Orbex scene files. With that scene file, you're able to then create a whole new experience or an edit or an interactive layer that is then compressed and processed and turned into an Orbex media file. With those pieces in place, you can have an end-to-end -end holographic ecosystem between Facebook Otoy and our partners' tool chains. So once you have an Orbex scene file inside of an Octane integrated application, such as After Effects, you can see that we can actually move the camera around. We can use Octane's rendering system to totally change the way the scene looks. Inside of Nuke, you can see that we have the ability to not only add new objects, new surfaces, but we can change the lighting, we can add refractions, we can do all sorts of things that really give us the entire cinematic tool chain for CG mixed with volumetric video in one tool. And then finally, Unity and Unreal Engine, both of which we're supporting this year, are game engines. And so you can create game-like effects. You can put, for example, a light on the Oculus Touch and use that as a interactive flashlight in the scene. Um, we can have things that are driven by game mechanics and physics to include interactive elements that react to what the user is doing in VR. Really, this is the first time that you have a production-ready tool chain that allows you to bring volumetric video into Unity and treat it as a game object. This has never really been practical or economic before. So one of the things that will automatically happen on our cloud service is that you'll be able to publish a 3 doff or stereo cube map version of the video file you've created to Facebook's 360 pipeline. However, if you want to show more advanced features such as 6 doff playback on the desktop or on the Rift or in augmented reality, we'll have other links that represent this media file that can be bootstrapped in various places such as on the Gear VR or from any web link. And this will provide you an even richer experience with a full volumetric bubble or a light field that you can walk through and publish on the open web. Among the new codecs that Orbex is going to be rolling out uh, to better support Facebook's X24 and X6 6 dot video cameras is Orbex 3, which allows the encoding and streaming of point cloud data and vector displacement maps at very high speed. And we can also leverage the same sort of utility when we're streaming from the cloud and foveating that down into a light field or lightweight point cloud stream. One of the very first things that we tested was flipping around the scale of the scene and turned it into an object. And we think that this kind of experience is absolutely awesome for augmented reality and mixed reality applications. We also have been experimenting with taking this footage and cleaning it up in the tools that we already have and repurposing that as a true light field cinematic piece of content where the author of the content piece can actually change the lighting, the reflections, add reflective surfaces inside of Octane and then republish this as a true light field cube. And this gives us the best of both worlds. We have the ability to capture inexpensively with Facebook's cameras a scene that we can then turn into a full light field experience at the highest quality through Octane. Today, with this combined solution, we feel that anyone that wants to get into the volumetric or holographic videography space has all the tools needed to make that happen, and we couldn't be more excited. This is Jules Urbach signing off.